This is Heidi Caswell, WordPress 101 for Boomers. And we've been going through and making several uh, WordPress tutorials as we, as we put this website together. And we've been talking about links and menus. Uh, we just got through with links, and you can find them on this uh, page here under tutorials. And now we're going to go ahead and go into menus. In your dashboard, if you look under appearance, there's a spot called menus. And then you can go ahead and pull it up, and this is what it will have. And you need the first things they have you if you create a new menu, they want you to give it a name. Some things don't enable custom menus, and if they do not enable custom menus, they will tell you though in though in here. Uh, Weaver is one of the ones. A lot of the newer WordPress themes will allow you to do it. A lot of the older ones will not. Um, Weaver will. So I'm going to go ahead and create the menu. And this one tells me that my theme supports two menus, primary navigation and the secondary navigation. Now the primary navigation is often where you have the pages and secondary is a lot of categories or something else that you might want to use. Okay, here we are in the back and I typed in under custom links, something to put in the menu and it shows up in the menu. I can also uh, pick a certain page, let's say if I wanted a certain page to show up over there. I could just click on that particular page. And if you have many, many, you know, dozens of pages, you can view them all or you can search whatever it takes. You could even select them all if you want. Uh, categories, if we want to, let's go ahead and maybe put plugins and themes in there and add it to the menu. I'm just using this as an example. And they show up up here. Um, theme locations where you want the theme to show up and you may only have one theme lo location too it just depends on your theme as to what it does for the menus and we'll hit save and we'll see what it does I've not done this before and so you'll get to learn with me and see how this works I went ahead and I loaded it up into my and saved it but as you can see it's not showing up over here I'm not seeing this menu we just made uh, I'm sure the menus, this is a menu, the ones that go across like this and they may show up other ways. So uh, there must be another way to add a menu here than what we're doing. Actually, I think I hit the save button there, but I didn't hit the save menu button. I tried to leave this page and it says, hey, you've not saved it yet. So we're going to save menu and then we'll try again. There it is. There's the other one we made. And you can go back in and you can edit and change. Uh, the colors and things from these in the um, under appearance in Weaver theme, but it's got it there, and so now you can have either one or two side menus on your Weaver theme. Pretty cool. Okay, to change the colors on that new menu, if you wanted to change it, you would go ahead and go into appearance, Weaver admin, and click on main options. Widget areas. No, I think it's going to be under headed area. It's only showing one header bar, so evidently both of the header bars have the same colors, which is okay with me. Now, if you really, really, really want to do more with it, and this is a lot, and it does a lot, it's a free theme, you can actually go over here and purchase the Weaver Plus if you want, and that actually will let you have more options with your menus. You can move them around a little differently fine-tune them and change them things. You can change the, there's a lot of, lot more things that you can change over here. Um, as you can see right here as you go on through it, you can also put things up in your header. So like if you want to put your social media buttons and things up there, or if you want to move a uh, Google search button, you can do that. I learn a lot of things by clicking on buttons and seeing how things work. And this shows us what the Weaver Plus is. Uh, different things you can go look and see demos showing the different features. See if it's something. You and for a premium theme, for the upgrade, it's really not a bad price. I'm looking at twenty dollars if you want to use them on just your website and make changes. Uh, Forty dollars if you want to be able to do it on your client's website besides of yours. And of course, you can later upgrade it if you want to. Anyway, we're back over here at a website. You can see the two different um, menus that we have here. This is the primary one and they threw the secondary one up here when you got the second one and um, have fun with your site don't be afraid to click on buttons try things see how it works once you get it up the way you want save and start building your website have fun